Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Wednesday. Uh, it is early, but it's not bright. It's raining outside. I am headed to Waldron today. Got a few things to do in town, then I'm going down to the new property. And uh, but first, I got baby chicks action behind me a day early. Good morning, little whiting troop blues. Good morning. A nice variety of colors in there. Looks like we got some uh, little yellow ones, a little brown one, a nice little blue one, and a black one. Oh, and some little copper morons. Yeah, these look like uh, black or blue. I don't see any of the splashes in there. Good morning. Welcome to the world, little dudes. I got all my business done in Waldron. That took a lot longer than I thought it was. So I'm uh, at my new place now. I've only got about an hour, but I got a couple projects I want to do. And let's get started. First project, I've got this mini fridge. Uh, it's a good size. I got this back in Illinois. That was the only fridge I used for several years until I got the tiny cabin and finally got a normal fridge. But so that's come in handy over the years. Although it's a little bit dirty, it was better inside the mobile home, and uh, I just need to wipe it down, clean it up, get it ready to go. Then I can plug it in, and I'll have a nice little refrigerator here uh, during the move. One mini fridge cleaned up and ready for action. I decided to put that little mini fridge in here. This is the office, which is off the living room and yep got it plugged in and going and then i cleaned up that microwave got it ready uh trying to figure out something to put it on uh, i still had this little three shelf unit thing in the box so i got that out of the box and set it up and now i've got a microwave um and these were the only the two biggest things that i moved from illinois down to arkansas so they've uh, made the move again. And that microwave, you know, I've had it the whole time. I set it up uh, when I first moved down here, but in the mobile home, it kept tripping the breaker and every time. So it was just uh, not worth it to even attempt to use it. So it's just been sitting there uh, for the past three years. So it's a nice big microwave. And, you know, now I can bring some leftovers down here and just, you know, heat them up. I'm not a big microwave fan. But uh, it is good for warming up leftovers when you are away from home. And that noisy little fridge, I can keep plenty of drinking water in it. The next project is a smoke alarm. Yep, insurance uh, inspections. You gotta have your smoke alarms up and working. Easy enough on these battery operated ones. I just got a cheap one so that I could comply with the insurance and yeah, just put the battery on, uh, make sure the little light thing is flashing and you're good to go. And now I know what these are. They're not lilies, they're little daffodil. Uh, Jonquils, is that the variety? I do not know. I've got a bunch of these in my current place so these will be dug up that is all I have for today from here just I was only here for a little bit over an hour and but it's yeah uh, I got some uh, useful things accomplished ready to bring down lunch and dinner next time that'll work okay now I gotta get home It's about 6.30 and I made it home, so now I need to change my shoes and my hat and my pants and get to work. Uh, I haven't done an egg check today, so this should be fun. Flock number one. Seven out of eight white and true blues. Uh, I got one from my Olivegar. I did not get one from the Welsimer, and I did not get one from the Moran's uh, Pullet. She's young, and I didn't get one from Vicky Lawrence. Flock two, got another egg from 2.1. She is everyday regular. Five out of seven white and true blues. Two out of three of my brown egg layers. And a very nice speckled light green egg. Flock three, uh, my Welsimer. And six out of seven of my green egger olive eggers. And both of my brown egg layers. Flock number four, three out of four 
White Leghorns, I got an egg. Three out of five Americana Pullets, young ones, I got an egg. And let's see, five out of six Morans, I got an egg. And you can see the some of them are still Pullets. And you can see some of them got muddy. Yeah, it rained. Flock number five, I have, uh, let's see, nine total mint eggers and olive eggers that are, they're just coming of age. That's why those are small eggs. So, what, uh, two, four, six, seven out of nine today. Um, I've got one brown egg layer, just a regular brown egg layer, and she laid an egg. And then I have four uh, black copper morons in there. And um, I actually got uh, two more black copper morons eggs, but we had an incident with flock number five today with two broken eggs and that happens especially with pullet eggs you know when they're small they're also not as thick so yeah all right uh last flock and flock number six i've got three out of the five uh three out of the seven uh brown egg layers and those are old battery hens uh but yeah three out of seven Let's see, then I have four of number two's daughters, and I have two white and true blues, and I have uh, two olive eggers, and one of the olive eggers, one of the white and true blues are just pullets. They should just be laying. So what is that? Is that eight? And uh, so six out of eight of those gave me an egg today. The grand total right here is 55, plus I lost two of the Moran's eggs in uh, the flock five egg breaking incident all right good deal they are already in bed tonight i when i went down there to uh check uh flock number one's eggs i they were already in there so i closed them up and then i chased the last few uh roosters back into there so they're all locked up tonight no more uh tripping or or shocking myself on fences oh man it's a long day it's almost dark it's probably 7 15 and wow uh yeah i uh well met up with uh with drew uh this afternoon after i did my business in waldron we actually filmed a video for our collab channel the noisy neighbors that will not be coming out tonight uh look for that uh video at the noisy neighbors hopefully tomorrow we'll see if i make it until tomorrow uh yeah we just did uh just did a quick little video for the noisy neighbor so you might want to check that out tomorrow and so i didn't get him on film on my channel that's all right uh i got to visit with him for a little while then i borrowed some tools and uh went over to my place and got busy and now i'm home and i'm tired and i'm rambling so thank you for watching uh thanks for this opportunity to be tired and take her easy everybody oh yeah yeah, no chicken of the day today. I just, uh, I think you can understand. So I'll try to double it up tomorrow or whatever.